Hello, and welcome to a brand new episode of Corey and Kevin Talk About Nothing. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Corey. I'm Kevin, and welcome to our podcast talk show. Hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome. I feel like it's been a while because we're recording on a Thursday instead of a Monday. Yeah, threw right. me off a little bit yeah. at the same time. Feels like we've missed a lot of time. Yeah. I'm about um, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Before we start, okay. there's a movie called Dungeons and Dragons coming out, and if anybody's been listening, we've been we've started and we're on this uh, Lost Minds of Fandelvar, Fand- Fandelvar. and uh, it's been a it's been a blast. I'm clearly obsessed. Uh, <laughs> and what I was thinking is, since the movie's coming out, our entire party, if 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 the DM could come too, though, if the entire party and the DM could go. To the theater see to see it, I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would be definitely better. be down. Let's get that to... together. All right, I'm in. I'm in. Perfect. So on our show, uh, we talk about movies. Um, uh huh. We talk about uh, usually a big budget movie, and then a little to no budget movie. Yeah. Because we like everything from A to Z. I guess everything, that's, that's kind of a. Misconception. I don't want to say we like everything from A to Z. I'll say we'll watch it and then we'll let you yes. know if we're like exactly. <laughs> That's true. We'll let you know how we feel. Yeah, um, but like we will watch open. anything out there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, send it out. Also, send it to we us. Won't, we won't watch anything. Um. <laughs> well, it's got to be a movie that can be played in theaters. Yeah. How do you like that? Yeah, that works for me. That's don't, better, don't right? Be, don't be sending us your filth. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to see that. Uh, I'll tell you At what, all. though, this nine nine two two productions—that's what it's called, right? Uh, yeah, nine two two, um, or the five dollar five dollar, yeah, five dollar, yeah. Film, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks like during the making of this, uh, so all right, so so the two movies that we're wa- that we're going to talk about is uh, Lightyear, uh, the Disney Pixar movie, and Ramen Sucker Punch, uh, the Dan Lotz nine two two films, five dollar films, something. A lot of yep. production stuff going on there. Um, but uh, while they were doing Ramen Sucker Punch, uh, the guy with the mustache, yeah, he was making a movie uh, in Florida called Hell is a Timeshare in Florida. So I would like to watch that next. Oh, okay. If that's cool with you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, Very cool. I, I'm totally fine with that. Because um, I did enjoy him. You know, he played this part pretty well. Yeah, and it it was funny in the uh yeah. in that other one too, yeah. Or not necessarily funny, but just like decent. So Yeah, it was, it, yeah, the acting was there. Yeah. Um all right, cool. So we want to go with the typical, right? Where we'll talk about the the no budge. The no yep. budge. The no That's, budge. Uh, I don't know if no. that works. I try to like drag it out to make it sound better. No budge. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> All right, listeners, let us know if no budge. Yeah. Is hashtag no budge. I don't think that comes across. Anyways. Nope. nope. Hey, send us your ideas, please. <laughs> yeah. We're, Email. We're, links. We're send them all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, well, yeah. So t- tell me, Kevin. I mean, how did, how did um, I'll let you talk about this one. Um, you know, yeah. R- uh, Raymond Sucker Punch. You I'll know, tell t- you what. Give, give me your feel about it. I'll, t- I'll tell you, I left this movie really wanting ramen. Oh, 100%. I, <laughs> but, like, okay, not in a packet not ramen. Not in a packet. I want real ramen. I want real ramen. I want the egg. I want the egg in and my for ramen. Sure. Okay, can, can I, can I tell you I'm a quick side story? I went to Colorado. My brother took me to a backyard ramen noodle, like, spot right hey literally it's you go through an alleyway and you get there and then you have a tent with it they serve you <laughs> ramen noodles in a bowl okay Very threw cool, me yeah. off but that was my first real one and i i, I liked it, was, it oh okay okay but it was like okay <laughs> take a pack of ramen noodles times it by two add an egg add real chicken into it and it's and then like the one i got was like really hot oh, so it was spicy. a mixture of like all kinds of stuff that was like, okay, hold on a second, you know? And I'm weird. I know this is, I'm probably one of the only people that think this way. I'm weird about a soft egg. So the eggs and soup don't make sense to me. I don't love it. Just saying. Eggs, if you give me a, if you give me a whole egg that's this hot. Guy, this guy's wild. 
That's what I'm saying. I'm probably the only one that thinks wild. that way, but it throws me off. I bit into it, and, I'm, and it felt like it was just slimy grossness in my mouth. And ever since, I'm like, I can't do that again. I can never. If you give me an egg and soup, I'm taking that thing out, put it on the side. Oh, that's so weird, man. Yeah. So, I love eggs, but, anyways. I'm Charlie well, Kelly you, about yeah. some eggs. Man. Well, you no, I'm seriously. I'm, I'm Frank Reynolds about some eggs. If you have to say, have to say wait a minute. Uh, yeah, I'll you go Frank crow eggs. Reynolds on some eggs. Yeah. <laughs> may, you, may I? <laughs> would you like this egg in these trying times? <laughs> <clears throat> or or that that uh, uh, commercial egg is just <laughs> yeah, just so, it's just a prototype. Yeah. Um, yep. But anyways, sorry that went off way too far. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um. Actually, so my wife and I are celebrating seven years on the 29th, and we have that day off, so we're actually going to go find ramen. Nice. I, know, I, I was like, I, I have to yeah. I have a good bowl of ramen now. I, I, yep. I feel like I, I've, I've, you know, I've seen. I mean, hopefully, the, you don't have, hopefully you don't have to do what you they have to do to get the good bowls of ramen. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, gosh, I'll just pay <laughs> for it. Uh, yeah, 100%. So, yeah. Uh, I, I feel like since we watched chlorine yeah. that we we kind of got like a feel for like these types of films so yeah. like so like the pacing is a little slower um and and it's we're, we're focused more on like the dr- like like in this one I felt like more on the drama aspect of anything um I I, I enjoyed it I'll say the amazing intro it, it was phenomenal with the music the title credits um and just doing the mundane task of eating ramen make you know so i I really enjoyed it um i even i don't know if you saw i i reached out to dan lots because i said i have to have the soundtrack uh for this because i i absolutely love that bad boy song that uh was was played throughout and then at the end i i I made my wife listen to it today she's like i love that song (laughs) I i know it's so good so uh thank you uh, that's that's been a pleasure of watching these movies too of the soundtrack. Yeah, I, I, I well yeah, so yeah, you you've talked about majority of the indie <laughs> films that we've watched so far. I mean, all I do is talk about soundtracks, man. I'll well, all you. the time, but that that just shows you that it's 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 a it's a step up on your list. That's all I'm saying. Oh yeah, you got a good soundtrack. You're like, ooh, I, it's ooh. at eighty percent. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, that's, oh, you're yeah, doing good. yeah. That's that's three inhaler puffs. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know i kind of wrote my de- thoughts down during this movie and and one of the things i said i want to know if he actually bought the insurance yeah then i realized no he definitely didn't why is and, that well because the dude just wound up stealing all sorts oh, of oh. stuff he's definitely okay. not buying insurance that's true also i'm wondering is the guy that they killed at the end was that george that was on the phone trying to sell the insurance because he was the only one who talked about mukbang ramen, so I have an intriguing, intriguing question: mukbang ramen. Oh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he was a, maybe he was a the insurance salesman. Um, and then, and then I, I would like to to these were my thoughts okay. on on on, uh, on a, a decent portion of the movies. I said I like the idea that. Uh, you don't judge a book by its cover. Uh, thinking that this main character is a bum, thinking he's just living off of whatever, and really he's 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 got pain. So I said, yeah. you don't know the full story. You don't know uh, the pain that someone might be going through. Um, preconceived ideas of who a person is, but you may be only seeing the surface. Uh, humans are onions, and those layers go deep. So it's it's intriguing to to be so judgmental versus someone that maybe you just met or you don't understand and really understand that there, there are more things going on than that you see. So I really enjoyed that they, you know, um, kind of, uh, worked that in, gave that, uh, gave it a good, uh, you know, a, a good theme. Um, and then I said, this is like an, an unlikely duo becomes a bum, a buddy dramedy. Um, they <laughs> That's fully funny. submerged I like themselves. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they fully submerge themselves in the criminal life, raising the stakes. You know. <laughs> That's awesome. That, that, I like that. I, I think, think uh, just, uh... The, the true problem of this movie is boredom. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, I I enjoyed it. I I really enjoyed it. Um, I I like the the dialogue. 
I like, um, obviously, like uh, the, the camera shots, the cinematography, the lighting is beautiful. The audio oh, yeah. is, is exceptional. Um, the, the only thing I would say is, like, some scenes are just, like, really drawn out. Um, but at least there weren't any, like, those weird fireworks. Remember the end of Chlorine yes. where they just, like, had the weird fireworks scene? It was just, like, probably could have cut that, that and saved yeah. us, like, ten minutes. But yeah, exactly, yeah. Th- this, I, I couldn't, like, justify, like... Like I could see, like it's not it's not that long, so it's not like you're making me excruciating. I'm not. It's not excruciatingly painful to go through some of these uh, longer scenes, but you could you could see like where maybe doing a little trimming wouldn't be a bad idea. But but ultimately, I I, I didn't care either. It, like I said, it's yeah. it's short enough to where it's not like a problem. Um, it's just that I love people to work on their craft, so I'm not going to say it's perfect. Yeah, uh, you know, everything everything gonna use some work, I guess. Anyways, um, because you can say that about any movie, except any movie, for actually. Interstellar, Eternal Sunshine <laughs> of the Spotless Mind. Okay, you cannot you cannot talk about them, except for <laughs> they are perfect. That's the best movie in the world. And Arrival, and and, and so many <laughs> others. There's there's too many. I don't even want to go down that rabbit hole. But anyways, I really like. The, the cinematography, man. I really like the lighting. I really like the feel of these movies because I feel like the camera positioning, um, the way that work, that it kind of works around is we're, we're like in the van with them. We're yeah. in the okay. apartment okay. Yeah. with them. We're, 100%. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, you so, would think like okay, a bonus for me, sorry, was like the Grand Theft no. Auto thing. Yes. So the Grand Theft Auto thing, right? So when when – when they're actually playing Grand Theft Auto, they're talking about it, and they turn around, and he's actually playing it. I, I don't know why. Like, that was kind of, like, a thing to me that's, like, it was kind of, like, it made that whole feeling of what you were just talking about there. Like, it just made you, like, oh, you're really hanging out with these guys in the room as, like, you, you know, you don't, you kind of just, it, it was actually awesome. And another thing, too, is I think the, it was really fun, all right, and then, but, like, the, the scenes, just to your point of the scenes dragging out, okay, I just, I don't want to, like, go too far away from that, but, so with the scenes dragging out a little bit, there was one scene that I think even, um, I was just thinking their, just thinking their names. The dude with the mustache, okay? That dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm just drawing a blank. Okay, anyways, so well, I, I, they look. To be honest, he gives a few names, and now I'm drawing a blank too. Because oh, exactly, was like yeah. Marcus picking up somebody else's order, and then yes. he was like uh, Jared or something picking up somebody else's order. So like, I actually kind of don't remember but no go oh, ahead oh my gosh i, th- I could have swore i just had it but anyways um what's so there was a scene that you could see him like for like for probably i mean it was just a short shorter period of time but it just it's something that caught my eyes you see his eyes do this it would have looked like to me okay and this is just my opinion on it what it looked like to me because only one thing happening he was grabbing something out of the bag okay it's all he was doing he was grabbing something out of a bag. And then when he kept doing this, I think what it looked like to me was like almost like a reset. Like, you know how like sometimes like, you know what I mean? Like when you, let's just say you're acting, okay? Oh, like, like take after the take of kind of thing. Exactly. And you know how like you like lean, like you like get back into it. Like you didn't like that or they weren't ready for yeah. it or something. Yeah. You're kind of practicing your entrance, right? That's almost to me what kind of what it looked like in that sense of it. It was kind of funny. And I'm like, I man, gotcha. that's hilarious. I, but I actually even, I rewound it and like, and actually going into it, it doesn't like, that's not like it doesn't make any sense at all. Like that, that part of waiting, but at the same time it was like drawn out. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. And I think even the actor can tell in that one scene, like how long is he just going to sit there and stare at <laughs> the guy when he's pulling one thing out of a bag. That's all I'm saying. Like, I just think it was like one of those things that once again, cut or reshoot. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Just, right, but right, like, right. I, that, that's all I'm, that's all I'm getting at. It was a great, I, I, I okay. So my opinion about the movie loved it. I actually, yeah. I thought it was really funny. The storyline I thought was great. I thought it was really actually like, I mean, when I say great, what I mean by that is, like, it's a good story. I don't yeah. want to say, like, I love the story, but it's, like, a good story if put together well. So it's, it's not it's your like, typical... Exactly, which was sweet. I actually had a lot of fun with it. You know what I mean? The um, the ending of it I thought was pretty, um, you know, they got one bullet, man. It's all I need, right? Well, he loads one and then puts a clip in. The clip looked empty to me. I think oh, the did clip... It? The clip well, looked empty. Because in one scene, they had a bunch of bullets out. Okay, so maybe. 
I just, for some reason, in my mind, I instantaneously went, empty clip, round in the chamber, right? Like, that's yeah. so he had the one bullet to shoot him with. And then he, and in, in the end scene, he only shoots one bullet. Yeah. So I, that's why well, I thought I, I was see, right, too, I right? see what you're saying. Yeah. See, you see what I'm saying? Now like, that's I, all I feel I'm like I'm going to go back and look. But I, I feel like, because yeah. there's a scene where he's, like, sitting like this on the table. There's, like, a whole bunch of bullets out. Yeah, I, I remember. Now that you say that, I remember that scene too. I wasn't thinking about that. Well, but if he yeah, didn't load the what, clip yeah. and he only put one in, hey. So I'm just saying, there was one empty bullet. He cocked it, put it in there, took it with him. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, so like I said, I think the whole idea and the fun part of about this movie in general um, is actually it was. I had a great time with this movie. Yeah. It's like uh, guerrilla warfare out there. They're filming at their own locations. They're filming at their own spots. It's, it's got like this really good ground level feel to it, where these yeah. characters are grounded, and you yes. believe these characters. Like the main character, I totally, I feel like I know that character. I feel like I have met, I know like people like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so like I just feel like, you know, it it, it felt like. Uh, and it felt good because it just felt like they were relatable characters. For sure. uh, one of my favorite scenes, though, because it, it just it just struck me as so funny, was when he's walking. The main character's walked and wa- <laughs> main character is walking, and the and the dude is like breaking into the car. And he just goes, "Huh?" And then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he gets in the car, drives off, and I'm thinking like, "Yeah, I'm not sure what to expect. Like, are you gonna try to stop him?" But like, it was just like, "Huh?" <laughs> like. Oh, that's interesting. You know, that's and that's it. Oh, that's so funny, man. That's that, it. Yeah, for yeah. some reason that that cracked me up. Huh. So yeah, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, I mean, I would be. I know it's fun to shoot on no budget, and I know like this folk filmmaking stuff is is a lot of fun, um, yeah. especially because we get to watch it and and you're putting it out there for free. Like you're putting your blood, sweat, and tears into it. So like it is truly appreciated. But I would love to see what you could do with a budget, like oh for sure you've I mean, you've got such yeah. skill that yeah like I would I would love to see what what uh, the Dan Lotz crew the nine two two productions the the five dollar film film uh, uh, whatever yeah I, the film school that's what that's what it is that's so, it. so I, I kind I kind I kind of want to look into the film school to see if it's actually like is it truly a school you know um I think, th- like that I don't know yeah. Yeah, so that, that's what I'm saying. So if it's a school and like it's kind of like a teaching or a college, maybe that's why they're putting out these films, right? Which would make sense. You know what I mean? That's that's you know what I mean. I I don't know if that's true or not. You know what I mean? It sounds like it's Dan Lotz a production film, but at the same time, I wondered if it is like the school and that's where some of these actors are coming from. Some of these, you know what I mean? Some of those things. Well, if you pay attention to the credits, his mom and dad were in this one. His wife was in this one. Yeah, I just um, think it's going to use people because it's the college. So you're gonna, well, I'm just saying if it's a small college or something, you're going to use people also around you to do it, right? Like, I'm oh, just right, saying right, a, right. That makes it more I mean, look at our, I was just going with your thing. Yeah, yeah. like look at our our 48-hour film project yep. where it's like those are all of our friends and family. So yep. <laughs> All of them. Yeah, all of them because I, I, I am too weird to reach out like, hey, you want to be in a movie? Yeah. I mean, we, well, we have tried, but like it's – it's funny how many people cancel the day it comes up. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, we'll be there. No shows, bunch of no shows. We constantly get no shows. But anyway, so that's that's also a thing. You know, congrats on getting your characters, your actors to show up. Yeah, congrats absolutely. on running a cohesive story on, on minimal budgets, on, on minimal characters. And I I like I like we like we just been saying. I really enjoyed it. Um so yeah, I would like to continue this trend and watch a few more of these. Obviously, like we'll sprinkle in other ones. And, you know, it can't just be <laughs> the damn yeah. lots uh, nine two two five dollar film school podcast. Um, <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I would like to see this. I and my YouTube, you know, it just pops up with this. Uh, um, Hell is a timeshare in Florida. It's just I'm like that sounds funny. So that one, and then. Uh, We'll, we'll get we'll get with it. I think I think yeah. we have I think we have some more. I think we have another one too. But anyways, yeah, I'll have to pull up the list again to go make sure. Yeah, but I don't I don't know. Okay, so yeah, do you have any more thoughts on uh, ramen sucker no. punch? No, no. I mean, I I think that you you stole a word right out of my mouth saying how bad you want a pack of ramen noodles now. You yeah. know, I want you know. Oh no, no, I don't want to. Pack of ramen noodles. Well, no, I'm, I'm I want to go to yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, but see, I'm well, going hey, and then to when a you, store to get it. I'm hey, going to a you, restaurant to get it, sir. And you let me know where you find one 
because I would go there some other point. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm just saying. I don't know if there's one around here that you can get true. And maybe my mind is that it doesn't matter. Anyways. Well, we talk I just play. realized that this podcast comes out on the 29th, right? The Monday. Yeah. That's really cool because that's uh, uh, the day I'll be eating, eating the... Oh, well, that's true. But also, oh. shout out to NASA. The, uh, the, the We're shooting up a, a rocket. NASA hasn't shot up oh. shit in forever, man. Yeah. We're starting the Artemis project, so I'm really, really excited about that. So we'll, uh, we'll be paying attention uh, what, to launch day. Are they going to? They're going. They're going. They're going to the moon. Is that right? Is that right? So, this first thing is going to be like this pathway, but ultimately by like 2025, this whole project will be putting like people on the moon to establish a base and stuff. Got it. Okay. So, like, there's a few phases that are going on. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Okay. Um, I did have just, like, a few more things to talk about Ramen Sucker Punch because I don't want to overlook, like, the, like, the dialogue and, like I said, the, the drama aspect. I feel like action is so easy to go to, especially, like, on a no budget just because, like, fake guns and, and after effects and all sorts of different things are just generally easy to do and you don't have to then yeah. worry about story where this worries about story and dialogue and character development so even if the character development is bad <laughs> um <laughs> because clearly in this movie the character development turns them bad so i i just really enjoyed it and I, I wanted to you know i wasn't sure like where we were going to follow this main character to his job um but it was really interesting to see him just like living in this pain going back to the same park every every work day you know to kind of relive those happy memories that he had um and then finally getting it off his chest although he's still a little unstable apparently because like one 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 advanced one one advanced that was you know not welcomed or whatever asking jessica on a date you know he turned into a bit of a psycho so hey jessica you dodged a bullet because that man's a psycho yep um but I, I I really enjoyed that because it, you know it also brings the characters closer together. Um, there's like now more of an understanding. I feel like anytime anybody learns more about you, you're you're then brought closer because you just have like a better understanding of where these where this person's come from, where how this person works, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, I really I really enjoyed that. So good work. I enjoyed it. Two thumbs up. Yeah. Two thumbs up. Really enjoyed it. So, yeah, we'll yeah. Uh, we'll check out what else they got. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, keep sending them. Great, great, great job, reminder, guys. though. If you have a movie that you want us to watch, please send us the screener. Send us the link. Send us the file. Send us whatever. Tweet us. Get a hold of us. We'll watch Absolutely. it. We want to watch it. Yep. We have no problem giving you credit. On where credits do, and we have no problem of saying, "Hey, this needs work." So, yep, they fix it. We give yeah. free advice. That's the whole point. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, yeah all our works pro bono. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So. So yeah, you want to move on to our our next movie? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? My boy, my boy Chris Evans uh, voices this one. Yeah. You know, after yeah, seeing I... him as. Uh, the bad guy in uh, the gray man. It's nice to hear his voice in the good guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I like my so Chris funny. Evans bad, but like, hey, let's get back to kind of a uh, Captain America vibe. As mm-hmm. soon as Captain here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Uh, good range. Let's go back. Yeah, let's go back. Yeah. So, uh, Lightyear. I, lo- I loved it. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was great. I, I I thoroughly enjoyed this one this one as well. I think see I was also a huge like Toy Story is one of like probably top five kid movies like at the time. Oh right. Easy, so yeah. so yeah. 100%. So I mean it, it, it might be top three. You know what I mean? But at the same, but I'm just saying top five easily for sure. So um, I really enjoyed it. Right. Yeah. What are you gonna say? I was gonna say some of the best movies are just toys coming back to life, and I just realized like some of my top favorites. 
Toy Story, obviously with Toys I, are Coming Back. Yeah. Small Soldiers. But yes. Toys I was say, I, and then I knew was Indian in the Cupboard. Are you kidding me? I forgot I, about that one. I wasn't my 3D about that. printer like kind of makes me feel like I at least have an Indian in the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I didn't have to make okay. them talk, but yes, at always. Least, yeah. At least I uh-huh. get to just make them. But you don't know what happens when you walk away. Actually, they're causing a ruckus. I have an army right now. Yeah, for just sure. Just sitting out. They're causing a ruckus. Yeah. Huh. But so, anyways, anyways so, yeah. love Toy Story. Okay. Yeah. So with that whole thing came out, and because I, I was actually excited about this movie, you know what I mean, coming out, and I was excited to see it, you know. But at the same time, though, I I just can't help it. It's not. Not that I don't want to watch the Disney cartoony, those type of films, but at the same time though, like, you know, I, I don't have children, you know? I don't I don't have some that person to like bring it up to me and make me want to watch it more, right? That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know what I don't know what it is about my I brain. wanted to watch to this with... one before my daughter did. What? I said I'm not saying I didn't want to watch it. I'm just saying like I'm like that one really piqued my interest. But at the same time though, you waited when you, until when, when do you go throw it on? Yeah, but also when did you? How long did you wait to watch this after after yeah, you till, could? Till Clem wanted to watch it. Till Clem, time was ready. That's all I'm saying. You know, I'm just saying. I put it out there that it, I just I feel the same way that all of a sudden it's like so I was forced to watch it and guess what, bro? Here we are forced and loved it. Wa- okay, whatever. We'll pass that. We'll pass over that forced to watch it. We'll just pass over that. Like he doesn't have an equal voice in this podcast. This guy's a filthy liar. Over no, here. you take the force that I'm telling that you force me to. I'm forced to watch it because we're talking about it on the podcast. So I'm forcing. You can, oh, anyways, let's just move on. Yeah. Sink. Dip out. <laughs> peace. Yeah. This is now Kevin talks about nothing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But no, um, I, I really enjoyed it. So another Disney Pixar movie where get a little teary eyed you know the whole relationship that blasts through because hey it's only four minutes for me but it's six year or yeah we're eight no tw- uh four years it was four no what you're talking about the very beginning of it yeah because i know the last it was jump like, was 22 years yeah I, I, I think I, it I feel was like it, oh yeah it's four years it so four, the whole trip it was either was, four or six but it's it's yeah. four because um when when he comes back the first time, she's like, I, I have a girlfriend. And he's like, you just met her? And he's like, she's like, no, um, I met her four th- or three years ago. So it kind of plays into that four years. That's four years. Go back and rewatch it. Four years. Don't okay. No, I trust me. you. Don't. Hey. I'm just kidding. Whoa. I know. Guys, he's angry. I pulled out. He's angry. Mom. I refuse to. He has to say. Anyways. I'm forced to do this. The amount. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about it anymore. <laughs> they don't need to know that. It, Corey's actually in a separate room in my I was going to say, <laughs> no, guys, yeah, I'm like right a, over there. On the other side of the basement, <laughs> the dungeon. Shut up over there. I mean, <laughs> talk on the podcast, but yeah. shut up over there. Yeah. Anyways, um, I it just it was like really sad to be like, I, I want to correct this so bad that I'm willing to just speed through everybody's lives. Um you know, but my own and, and these people lived an entire life, created families, created roots on this planet. And he's like, I'm ready to get off this thing because, yeah, dude, you've only been gone in a couple hours or, or maybe uh. a couple days. And instead, um, whole gen- you know, a whole generation is coming up. So it was just got to be a little teary eyed because it's like, man, it's just how, how crazy to just blast. It. It's like the click situation. You just blast yeah, exactly. through everything. You, you miss mm-hmm. every. You mean, you're gonna miss out some moments, and that's what I really loved about that part where, you know, uh, it's kind of like. I feel like we could just talk about the movie, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, where like we know who Berserk is, uh, yeah. and and his thinking has changed. Uh, the the young, uh, Buzz Lightyear has his thinking has changed because he's he's witnessed that. Yeah, she she wanted to be a space ranger again, but would she really have given that up to have a child, to have a a, a life partner, to to love and and have all of that there? Like, she would have to make that choice, and so she can't. Yeah. She should be given like you know. So I I just really like really enjoyed that moment. Um, I, just like touchy feely, you know, good old Pixar stuff. Really. Like, 
I know you don't understand this, Clementine, but this yeah. is heartbreaking. <laughs> and you're, um, you're hugging her? Yeah. <laughs> don't grow up. Yeah. Don't grow up. Um, <laughs> I loved Socks. I loved all the characters, especially uh, oh. the lady who can't touch any weapons because she's on parole. You know, like, when, she, when he's like, hand me that, she's like, I can't touch that on yeah. account of my parole. Parole? Like, <laughs> and then when he's asking her, like, what did you get, uh, uh, what what led to your incarceration? I blew some stuff up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like blowing yeah. stuff up at the end. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm loving sure. yeah. this. Uh, yeah, she I, got it. That's yeah. for sure. I loved, the, I loved all the characters. I loved them all. Uh, there was, yeah. It was such a fun movie. The only thing that hung... That got me hung up was this alternate reality buzz because our buzz lands on the planet after 22 years where that one hit four years and then sped off and when he sped off he branched a reality so that when he branched that reality off this buzz comes in at the 22 year mark so it was just like it's almost unfathomable without like let's go through this logically yes um, where like i know it's kind of like a kid's movie so like kids don't give a crap but here's my no. brain like you know like spinning like okay how does this make sense let's let's uh-huh. put this logically and, yeah. and and so i did a bit of like research from like okay okay i feel like that makes sense and so i'm not as bothered by it anymore but i'm like man they just go right over it oh i just no, broke it's... time and branched a new reality and, and did this and we're just gonna scoot over that how about let's go back in time you know so that was my only thing where i'm like what the how is this possible because if you remember in the original toy story the legend of zerg is they they play it off of star wars where zerg is buzz's father so it's changed in this where it's uh just buzz just a older alternate version uh Huh? Yeah, I forgot. I wasn't even thinking about that. I, did, I never. Th- when I didn't, I didn't tie the buzzerg. Yeah, uh, buzzerg. <laughs> yeah I didn't tie the, that into the storyline of Toy Story One. But you're 100 right. You yeah. are 100 percent right about that. So, and then there's some gripes people have with like Tim Allen not being the voice, and I like kind of. I I would. I would be interested to see what that would be like, but how they posed it, and I don't know if it's whatever. I, I, I'm not. I don't want to you know, get into speculation, but how they posed it was that you know Tim Allen was voicing the toy, and the toy is goofier, you know, where yeah. Buzz Lightyear, the movie based on the Space Ranger, is more of a serious. It's a, it's a, yeah. It's right. It's so, not. It, that's not the Buzz that was flying around the room. Exactly. So I'm like yes. that. To me makes total sense especially with in 1995 there was an andy who had a toy this is that movie you know i'm like yeah, yeah! i'm like this is yes. sweet i'm seeing what andy saw in 95 baby that's yeah let's go uh, that's yeah. awesome huh. man that's so cool so i i i understand especially because tim allen and buzz lightyear is synony- synonymous like like that's buzz lightyear to me that's buzz lightyear um, yes but i understand why you would go with like but, like, why not give him the opportunity to make a, a more serious voice? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I, I loved it. I, I love Chris but, Evans, but, so I didn't really matter. But. Maybe they did, dude. Maybe, you know what I mean? Wonder, wonder, maybe they didn't want if, to. Maybe yeah, exactly. Work. I don't know. Yeah, I don't maybe, know the full story. Yeah, for sure. I get what you're saying, though. Yeah, because yeah, not, not, you're right. I mean, it, it did throw me off at the very beginning of hearing Buzz. That it was not this buzz that I know of my entire but he also life. Doesn't have you know like the, the goofy like yeah, the chin exactly. It's not a toy. Like, you know, yeah. yeah, right, it's right. A, it's He's a real not life. the toy. Yeah, He's, exactly yeah. for sure. That's why I think it, it definitely works. Like it I worked. don't have oh, a yeah, gripe against yeah. the movie because they did that, but yeah. it would you know. Anyways, so yeah, great movie. Oh, it was great. It was actually I and and to your point, it's a kid movie, but I actually I don't care. I I oh I, it's I. I enjoy the movie. Yeah. That's the thing. I don't care what they tell me. You know what I mean? And 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 I did have like those 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 little bit of you know 
the same type of feelings you have, nah, not as much. You know, I mean, once again, you have a daughter that you're staring at with like that whole aspect of everything. So I think that like for you, you have something to stare at about while thinking about that. You know what I mean? I'm just saying it's a little one. I, you know what I mean? That's all I mean by that. So like, eh, you don't want that to happen. For me, it doesn't hit me all the time just like that aspect of things. You know what I mean? So it's like I didn't get I didn't get emotional like you did. I get emotional with all. Oh. <laughs> like the the Pixar uh, Inside Out? Are you kidding me? My God! See, up. I, uh. I haven't seen. Haven't seen. Haven't seen. I'm just kidding. I've seen Up. I've seen. What was the first one you said? In and Out. Inside right? Out. Inside no, Out. It's not, not the old In and Out, bro. <laughs> it's not the old In and Out. In and Out. No dude, way. Pixar switching switching gears. Me and my dude, we we, We're not hanging out all like that. No, no. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> no, but okay. So the Inside Out. I've not seen that one. I have oh, seen Up. So um. Good. So, so, but I guess I'm thinking about more Disney movies. There is actually quite a bit of new Disney movies. I didn't realize how many there was that I haven't seen. I just because I just don't have. See, you know, I, that's all I'm saying. So I don't think like I. So Disney movies are are fine, but I feel like Pixar, like it's, I know it's Disney Pixar, so you could pick that well, however you want. But yeah, I the get what Pixar you're aspect of it has always had like that adult emotion to it. Like there's always been like these adult undertones where like it's enjoyable by both parties because. They've they found a way to like stack both experiences on top of each other, and and that uh, yeah they, they've always been able to do that. Watch Inside Out, kid Inside or not, out, I, kid or well, no, not. It, you had a childhood. Not, well, yeah, I'm not you saying had a childhood, it's, 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 man. Inside I Out, I know you're dude, taking that. Th- I know you're taking it that wrong. I'm not saying Clementine's forcing you to watch no, it. No, I know. I don't want it, you to think that that is what, like an, an additional because at times it is, especially if certain movies are like that. That's like well, yeah. an additional emotional aspect. But uh, Pixar just hits it on the head. Oh yeah, I mean Up Absolutely. was phenomenal. Oh, dude. first five minutes, everybody's like crying for like, mm-hmm. why? What the hell, man? Yeah, what would you do this for? Why would you do that? And I'll tell you what, this is this is hilarious. Um, it's always sunny. Had an episode where they. And I got teary eyed there too because like, I'm 100%. like, yeah, I'm like, because Charlie finally got the waitress. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, mean Jesus, dude, I'm gonna cry right waitresses now. Waitresses and janitors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. like, you're 100 right. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. And actually, I'm coming to be honest with you too. I actually got more emotional like the second, third time. Not emotional, I don't want to say like that, but you can get the feels to it. The second, third time I watched it. The first time I was just laughing because I thought it was a funny premise, right? Yeah, right. The second right, time you yeah, get rid yeah. of the funniness. Not that it's not, not funny, but it's like you already know what's happening, so right. it's not the surprise funny, right? So all right. of a sudden you start thinking about different. And dude, it hit it. It hit me a hundred percent. It hit. Yeah. Uh, um, man. Sorry. <clears throat> no, you're good, man. Um. I I just uh, I thought all the voice actors did uh, a great great job in Lightyear. So I thumbs up. Both. I'll just. I'll do the. I'll do the effort. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are. Uh, who knows? Maybe some people are like. I didn't like it. I didn't actually see what. What did this movie the get? The Tomatoes. At? Yeah. Oh, actually, it makes me mad. I had. I had it pulled up. I was gonna say uh, this is. This is your thing, man. This is your. This is your moment. Yeah. This is your moment. This is your moment. Seventy-five. I should have said it. I knew. It had, I knew. It had something. Interesting. Yeah. Well, What's the audience score? Uh, the audience score is. Drum roll, please. Well, I'm actually not on IMDb. No, we don't want that. We want Rotten Tomatoes. The Google. No, the, rotten, the Google. Rotten Tom. Do you know what Rotten Tomatoes? <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't click on. I didn't click on it. So if you go to Google, it just tells you that the those. That's what I'm saying. The audience score is 84. percent so Got it. Yeah. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> dude, dude. Hold on. Let me Google that for you. <laughs> Loser. 84%. Anyways. That's like the gray man, man. It seems like critics and, and uh, audiences just uh, just tend to be polarizing. The gray man was what? Like a 40 some percent, but like an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes for, yeah. for the audience <laughs> scores. Like, hell yeah, baby. Um, um, that did you talk about that talk that uh the 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 taco why Ta- Taika why t- Watiti yeah 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 so he was uh Mo Morrison you yeah know he's the guy who shoots the harpoon yeah yeah that, that voice is unmistakable as I was gonna say but that, it's a not it's, it makes me angry because now as soon as that happened I'm like wait a minute. <laughs> 
that's him. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, what am I doing? Uh, you know, I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't think about it as I was actually listening. It makes Ke- me angry. Yeah, Kiki Palmer, um, who's in the new movie Nope as well, which I think we're going to try to watch that on Monday as well. Um, she she was uh, Cece, I think is the name. The uh, Izzy. Izzy, Izzy, that's it. Okay. Um, but yeah. I, I gotta look uh, uh, one of them up. So there's um, light year. I mean, it's just cool that uh, we we got to uh, see see this movie because it is kind of like just an interesting. Uh... Oh, okay. So so she's from Orange Is the New Black. She's she's pretty. Uh, funny on on orange is the new black as well the the lady dale soul at souls uh where she plays um darby who is she's the one where she she can't touch weapons because of her uh, yes <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. No. she she cracked me up man uh socks socks cracked oh, me hilarious. up too i love oh, socks. Oh, dude. i oh, want yeah. my own oh, yeah. and and the voice is so funny like when they're when they achieve hyperspace he's like that was utterly terrifying. <laughs> it's just it's so funny because like this robotic cat socks. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. James Brolin as, as Zerg. That's yeah. Just, that's just it, classic. Yeah. It was, it was actually a pretty big cast. Oh yeah, and I knew this one. I could tell by her voice. I just I couldn't uh, remember her name. Uzo. Uh, Uzo Aduba. She's also from Orange Is the New Black. She plays uh, Crazy Eyes. And uh, um, I, I knew her voice immediately. But, yeah, she, I, I liked her as uh, Hawthorne as well. So, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this uh, this cast of, of voice actors. And Wait a minute. Bill Hader is in this film? Uh, what do you mean? It says Bill Hader is Featherham. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So remember the rookie in the beginning where Lightyear's like, I don't want to take care of a rookie. And he's like, feather, feather. And he's like, it's Featherham, sir. Oh, wow, yeah. I didn't, you know, that's so funny. I, they snuck him in there. That's they so did. funny. And I did, I did not know that at all. That's funny. I, I didn't, awesome. uh, usually, uh, yeah, Bill Hader, there he is. I Usually I'm very good. Oh, I, Isaiah Whitlock Jr. is the commander. I, I love him because he comes in, he's like, Nope, Buzz, we don't need you anymore. We got the laser shield, you know? He's just, like, so <laughs> yeah. excited about the laser shield, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, which is like, wait, we're digging in? Yep, we're digging in here. We got the laser shield. <laughs> Good stuff, man. I, I uh, really enjoyed this so one. Now I'm like, it, uh, I want to know what movie Sid was watching. Remember Sid from Toy Story 1 murdering all yeah. the toys and combining them all? We got the heroic Andy watching Lightyear movies. I wonder what Sid's watching. Yeah, He's probably seriously. like Friday the 13th. Uh, yeah. Jaws. Nightmare on Elm Street. Jaws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chucky. Ch- oh, seriously. So, no, that's, that's Pet Cemetery. That, yep. Those are the movies he's watching. He's watching Stephen 100%. King. Got it. Got yep. It. That makes sense to me. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I've got yeah. Penny, I've got Pennywise uh, just staring at me up here. He's yeah, like, "Oh, that would freak me out." He would turn his face. I'll have to turn him away. He like starts dancing and staring yeah. at me. I'm like, "Hey, he, he, hi!" If his balloon pops one day, you know you're in trouble. Unfortunately, I never got that balloon for that one. That really made me mad. It's not very cool. <laughs> I knew I knew that was a bar, I knew it was a butthurt situation for you, so you know I figured you I set me up for asked, it by bringing him up. I asked so many times, can you please just ask for it? It is incomplete without it. Yeah, yeah, of course I'll ask about it. So I'll even pay for it. I don't care. I just need it. Hey, let me tell you something, Kevin. Make it myself. You have a three D printer. Yeah, but that's crochet. Well, yeah, but you just you have a red balloon, and I mean, I'm just saying, it's not the same. Anyways, doesn't matter. Uh, so the movies that we watched this time, Lightyear, which was two thumbs up. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. Um, it's like a Chris, Chris Evans is on a 
he's constantly on a roll uh, you know constantly it's oh. just fun to see him as the a bad guy and then a hero in the same uh, for sure two week period i was, I was gonna say that's a crazy part yeah. yeah i mean the last two things we've done he's been part of <laughs> yeah <laughs> so. exactly chris evans yeah. if you're listening which uh. that would be freaking wild hit us up bro yeah i'd go out and have a beer with you seriously at least one i might have two probably five yeah <laughs> Uh, <laughs> who knows dude probably doesn't even drink beer Mm-mm. it's water yeah. power water power water that's it all right and oh and then the uh, sorry we got we got all struck on chris evans here um <laughs> and ramen sucker punch which is yeah, available on punch. youtube um great stuff so hit, okay. hit, hit that one up Yes. One last comment about that movie. I yeah. totally forgot about it. Okay. So do you know one part that made me laugh? Hmm. Is do you remember when you, Okay, so I I'm just saying like it, it's memorizing for me. So do you remember when they went to go deliver the food to the last guy and he was complaining about how long it took them to get there, right? Yeah. It took him a long time to get the food. And the dude's complaining and then and then he, that one dude just turned around, smack right across the mouth. And then turn on and walk away. I was I like busted out laughing. Took at that the moment. hundred out of it. Slapped yep. it. Took the hundred See and walked ya. out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, dude, that is awesome. Yeah. I laughed very hard. I because actually I just wasn't expecting that. I just, just I, went, I don't know yeah, why. I know that's. Dude, and then yeah, it's like this, uh, this. That's why like they up the stakes, right? They up this correct acts of aggression, right? Uh-huh. When, they, yeah, when he did sudden, that, I'm like, uh oh. I yeah. I laughed too because it was just so a jarring where he's just like. Rip the why does it take two of you guys? Oh, you can't do no. it by yourself, whatever. Smack, give me that hundred. You better be yeah. able to break a hundred. Yeah, you're an idiot. No. Yep, no delivery driver would want to break a hundred, you idiot. No, not that one was, bit, actually. Yeah, that was yeah. that was awesome. Just wham, Dude, I laughed very hard for sure. Out. What are you gonna do? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all, actually. That's the funny part. So, uh, no, he said the service was great, and he tipped me a hundred, so we're good. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I also ah. did. I also like the uh, the first delivery driver where he's like, "Shit, oh shit, uh, you'll listen. Oh, yeah. I freaking hate this job, man. <laughs> See, nothing makes sense around here." And then the guys just sit there like, "Okay, cool." Oh, no. shit. Oh, oh, I gotta go, man. He's just like all up in arms about getting deliveries, man. That's pretty funny. It also made me laugh. See? It's a good Great movie. movie. It's a good movie. Um, yeah, exactly. So, Lightyear right. and Ramen, Ramen Sucker Punch. Yep. Great Let film. us know your thoughts. Also, hit us up on ideas for what you would like us to watch next. That's, I think, yep. uh, pretty crucial at this point. I think that that's like what we want. We want to see um whatever indie stuff you got for us so seriously and have you talked to dan lots at all about uh you know interviews well we got to start those i think we we owe it to other um directors to do that so yeah but yeah we will we absolutely will yeah i just think that i just if if not dan hit us up we'd love to do a little bit of talking with you we got a couple other people we're gonna reach out to too yeah we gotta we gotta we gotta get on that yeah for sure so all right cool all right guys so uh, hit the so, like and subscribe. Oh, no. Yeah, you're good. Uh, hit huh. the like and subscribe. Uh, and tweet us, email us, whatever. Just do it. Every- oh. Everything's down below. Down below. Uh, Have a great week, guys. Have a wonderful day.